I thank you, Mr. Chairman. And as pleased as I am that this is a budget uh, that balances, I'm even more pleased that this is a budget that takes on challenges that we on both sides of the aisle agree have to be taken on. I remember that uh, survey they took uh, a few years back uh, where they found that more college-aged uh, Americans believe they would see a UFO than believe they would see a Social Security check. And as you know, the Social Security program is in much stronger shape than is the Medicare program. My mom and dad uh, just went on Medicare uh, in the past two years. And there's a real concern uh, about what the future of that program is. And every single member of this body knows that if we fail to take on that challenge, that program will be destroyed. This budget goes into that challenge knowing that patient choice can make all the difference in the world. Getting my mom and dad as Medicare recipients involved in part of the solution can make all the difference uh, in the world. Uh, it is absolutely time, Mr. Chairman, to stop measuring our success by how much we put into a process and begin measuring our success by what we're getting out of the process. The challenges Mr. Rokita talked about for Medicaid patients finding docs, that's becoming true in the Medicare uh, segment of the population as well. It does not matter what kind of card you give to American citizens if they cannot find a health care provider willing to take it, they have no access to care. Kicking this can down the road has been a popular sport uh, in this uh, body uh, for decade upon decade. Uh, this committee has taken on uh, the challenge of addressing it, solving it, and taking it off the worry list of American seniors uh, more than any uh, other body in this town. I am grateful uh, for that, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Chairman. To fail to reform the Medicare system is to destroy it, and we cannot allow that to happen. I yield back. Thank you.